Welcome to Queen's Ferry Knauf Insulation's UK Stonewall Plant. The raw materials that go into making our mineral wool are delivered daily. Each material is delivered to our storage silos or bulk storage bays at the rear of the site. The storage system allows the batch plant to support our 24-hour operation. The main raw materials used are basalt, dolomite and waste materials from the steel making industry. Coke is used as a fuel source for the melting process. The raw materials are weighed out to meet the required mineralogy for the process and are then transferred up the main conveyor and transported directly into the top of the cupola. In order to bond or bind the fibres of mineral wool together, we use various binder types and formulations, each suitable for different markets and product types. One of these binder types, Eco's technology, was developed by Knauf Insulation in 2007 to help remove formaldehyde from our supply chain. Product manufactured with this binder is the only non-added formaldehyde mineral wool manufactured in the United Kingdom and is recognised by its unique natural brown colour. Our melting process is much like that of a blast furnace used for the manufacture of steel. In a blast furnace, the materials are heated up and the iron is removed to make steel. However, we use the mineral content to create the fibres, and the iron that is generated is removed and recycled. The process employed allows us to use up to 40% recycled or reclaimed materials in the finished product. The melt temperature in the cupola is in excess of 1400 degrees Celsius. The resultant melt is then siphoned out of the cupola and fed through our spinning process. Air is used to attenuate or stretch the fibres, which are directed towards a collecting chamber. During the fibrizing process, binder is applied. The fibres are drawn onto the surface of the collection drum to form the primary fleece. As the drum rotates round, an air knife lifts the resulting fleece off the drum and a conveyor transfers it to the pendulum. The pendulum then lays the fleece from side to side onto the secondary conveyor in multiple layers to form the primary fleece. Control of this process determines the thickness and density of the final product. The finished product passes through a curing oven before being cut to the required dimensions, packaged ready for delivery to the customer. The process is continually monitored by operators in the control room. From here, adjustments can be made to materials input, melt parameters, line settings and finished product characteristics to ensure the required specification is achieved. The emissions from the process are passed through an abatement plant, ensuring compliance within current environmental requirements and legislation. We work closely with Natural Resource Wales to ensure the highest standards are maintained. 